Hello, hello, Cesar. How are you? Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Mm. Good, good. You're good. Nice. So we're going to wait for a moment until your classmates access. Okay. Okay. ¿Cómo está el clima por allá, Julio? Pues hoy ha estado bien caluroso, no, no ha habido tormenta. Ah. <ríe> siempre, no. para, siempre para el primero o el dos siempre llueve, pero hoy está bien caliente. Maybe tomorrow, tal vez sí, mañana. Sí. sí. Ah, vale, está bien, está bueno. Incluso no iba a descansar, pero me lo dieron el día mañana. En <laughs> serio. Well, that's great. No, but... Sí, como, como ahí no se descansa. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh, because you work in the city hall, right? Sí. Uh -huh. Y los únicos dos días que se descansan en el año es el 25 y el primero. 25 y primero. Wow. Sí, de ahí sí. ¿Verdad? Ok. Hello, hello, Sonia. Welcome. Bienvenida, Sonia. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening, guys. Mm -hmm. Nice to hear you again. Qué gusto escucharlos. ¿Cómo están? Very good. Excellent. It's great. Are you happy? No. So, so. <laughs> sí, happy. Happy because tomorrow is a day off, right? Yes, right? yes. Nice. Are you going to um go to the cemetery? That's cool. Ah, it's a good activity so you enjoy mm -hmm. spending time with the family that's great uh -huh. Con la familia. excellent Mirna. Mm -hmm. and you Cesar, sonia no yes yes with your family mm -hmm. so you go with your family okay nice okay so we're going to start in a moment so i'm just waiting a little bit more and okay. Sharing my um, presentation. Rest. Los demás creo que Just kidding. 
please welcome. Okay, so listen up, we're going to start uh, with a uh, game. So let's see how much do you remember in the previous class. So by now I need you to access to the Play Store and upload uh, an application that is called Kahoot. So I want you to enter to your App Store or your Google Play and download the app. Okay, ingresen ahí a la Play Store y descarguen una aplicación. En su logo es una K moradita. No sé si así aparece, pero es una K con un signo de admiración. Al final. ¿Cómo se llama? Ahorita les pongo en el chat cómo les queda. Yo creo que tomaron el, el día hasta el, quizás hasta el jueves. Todo. <risa> Puente hasta el lunes. El lunes ya el siguiente módulo. Hello. También de teacher. A veces, creo que lo van a hacer. Entonces se cambian. Ok, ¿cuántos ya están descargando la aplicación? Ya la tengo descargada, teacher. Ya, ok. Ya un segundito les comparto el código para que se pueda que puedan ingresar. Okay, so I think I'm ready. Claro, se me fue la señal, no sé por qué. Sí, sí, me acabo de dar cuenta que viene de nuevo. Sí, de repente me puso en negro toda la pantalla. Ah, sí, probablemente sea el Zoom. No sé cómo estamos ahí con la conexión. Ok, cuando ya tienen su aplicación abierta, eh, si están utilizando el teléfono para um, ver la aplicación y el, ver el Zoom y ver la aplicación, Les sugiero que dividan la pantalla en dos. Eh, algunos teléfonos traen para dividir pantalla, sino algunos también pueden instalar una aplicación. Porque si no, sí me lo va a sacar del, del Zoom. Probablemente lo saque alguno. Ya ha pasado. Entonces, si el, su teléfono trae a dividir pantalla en dos para que vean la de Zoom y vean la del juego, perfecto. Ok, ¿dónde está el enlace, teacher? Ahorita. Tienen que descargarla en, en de la Play Store. Ya la descargó. Eh, no, como yo en la computadora me conecto. Ah, vaya. Okay. Okay, entonces solamente, bueno, le voy a compartir esta imagen. Y cuando ingrese, ingresa el código, ese código que está mostrando en pantalla. Oh, ingresa en el, ajá, ingresa en ese código. Aquí tengo el enlace para compartir. Es el último, sí, sir? el último. Ok. Ahí les acabo de compartir también el enlace. Pueden ingresar con ese enlace. Cuando ustedes ingresen, les voy a pedir que ubiquen su nombre. Ahí tenemos a Janet, ya. So she's a pumpkin. Ok, ya cambió. <laughs> Creo que los demás pensaron que tenía clase, ya vamos a enviarle el recordatorio. Vamos a ver acá dónde está.
Creo que aparezco, sí, ¿verdad? We have Caesar and Sonia. Nice. Oh my God, el rey Julian me salió. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, yes, you're right. Yes, you're right. Okay. Nice. Please, we're waiting for you. Luis, ¿se puede ingresarles? Ahorita, permítame que no puedo ingresar. So look at Janice. Janice. <laughs> so I don't know how to modify that. Uh, excuse me. Ya vamos a ver si ya la puedo instalar. Dale, no sabía que se podía ahí customize y personalizar el, sí. el avatar. Sí, cajú. Ok, so let's start. Solamente nos falta ahí Luis. Let's see. Hello, Virginia. Well, Virginia is coming. <laughs> nice, interesting. Ok, so let's start. Ok, siempre pueden ingresar los demás, aunque sal, si se sale, pueden volver a ingresar. Oh, we got it. Con el código. So here you have to write your answer. Tienen que escribir su respuesta acá. Okay, quienes no hayan ingresado, les envío ahí el link. Acá me está corriendo el tiempo. No, dice escribe acá tu respuesta, pero no sé cuál es la pregunta. Ah, aquí está la oración. Acá. Ah. Acá. Uh -huh. ah. Vaya, esa era de tiempo. Vamos a ver si son de lugar o son de tiempo, porque no. Creo que son de tiempo. Estas son de tiempo. So let's. Are you ready for the next one? O sea, si. Le pide el código. Acá está el código. Luis. Este código, ingreso. Ok. So, ok. That's next. So, write your answer. Ok. So, in this case, it's not in or, or add. It's another one. Next. Next, next, what? We started this yesterday. Vimos una ejemplo el día de ayer. Next, two, right? Next, two. No, logro completar. <coughs> es que es, nunca veo la pregunta. Es que la pregunta les va a aparecer acá en mi pantalla. Tienen que ver mi pantalla. Ah. There is a new bar in front. Y luego, y luego cuando regreso ahí, ¿ve? Ah. Y no, sí, sí, cuando iba a poner la respuesta, problema, me dijo ¿verdad? que se sí, acabó el tiempo. Acabó el tiempo. Bueno, sí, me parece que está muy bien. Ok, bueno, ni modo, vamos a ver. Me dicen si con esta le sigue dando el mismo problema. Hmm. Ok, problema, ¿verdad? Sí, que no logramos escribir la respuesta y... Muy rápido, súper rápido el tiempo. Pues bueno, déjenme checar a ver si podemos ubicar otra. Aunque me dice que son 20 segundos. Y vamos a probar con eso. Una pregunta, ¿cómo se escucha? ¿Me escuchan bien o se escucha cortado? Ahorita se escucha bien. bien. Okay. Estamos compartiendo esta. 
También les voy a compartir el enlace. Ingresen este nuevo código o, ingresen, o le toman ahí el QR. Okay. Quienes ingresaron tienen que descargar la aplicación de Kahoot o ingresar con el QR o con el código. <ríe> Look at scissors. Listo, ya entré. That's a good one. Nice, Eduardo. Nice, Janet. Hey, look at the Eduardos. He's a hamburger. Hi, teacher. Hello, Eduardo. Welcome. Thank you. So you have, I am going to have a party. Acá está la oración en mi pantalla. Y ustedes solamente escriben su respuesta. Okay, so you got two answers, just two answers. So you have to be a little bit fast. Okay, so the answer is on, right? On November the 30th. Let's see the next one. Body. Let's, I will see them in, on, or at December. Wow, you're being fast now. <laughs> Excellent. So we got five. So let's check it. What's the correct answer? In, right? I will see them in December. So we have some edge. Estoy en una en la pantalla y no puedo entrar. No, pero es que está solo del celular, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá, por eso. No tiene la opción mm -hmm. de dividir pantalla. Su teléfono. ¿La opción de? Dividir pantalla. Sí, creo que sí, pero no, tendría, no la pude hacer. Tendría que activarla y ponerla en una que le ponga el Zoom y en otra que le ponga la aplicación. ¿eh? Pero si no, mm. solo quedémonos viendo y usted me va diciendo así en tiempo real cuál es la respuesta. <risa> <risa> o a través de... <risa> ok, so we got three correct. Eduardo, the next one. A game and download the app through the Play Store. Kahoot, download it. Descarguen la aplicación si no han ingresado. Kahoot, descargan el Kahoot y luego ingresan en este pin de juego. The party will start by at midnight. Ajá. Uh -huh. At night o'clock. Perfect. So that's más rápido. Ya no le vamos a poner los puntos. Chica, what happened? I will go to Madrid the evening. Mm -hmm. So write your answers. Type your answers. In the evening. Mm -hmm. In the evenings. Nice, Janet. In, right? In. Right. Yeah. Sonia, good. Sonia, I think that's Wilfred. Mahal, Dana. For six, I'll go to Mercadona. In, on, or at Mercadona. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I didn't know about that place. <laughs> no sabía de Mercadona. La tiendona de la fiesta. La tiendona. La tiendona. ¿Qué ping pongo? Ah, este que está aquí abajo, este código. Acá, at the bottom. Adonde. Aquí abajo de la pantalla, donde aparece la franja morada, abajo. Ah, sí. Okay, nice. So good. En Eduardo. Always read in honor at. In seconds, then. Ajá. Uh -huh. Janet. On at. 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 So the right answer is. At. Perfect. So we got four and Janet's five, right? Okay. Number eight, the beach. The summer, I prefer mm. to go to the beach. Mm. In the summer. In the summer, right? Yes. Okay. In the summer. In the summer, Janet. Good. In, in the summer. Excellent. So we got five. Mm. In. How about this one, number nine? They met. Mm. Mm. La reunión. Mm. 
seen. Dash also. In, on, or at? In the age. So the correct answer is at, at, at the age of uh, 13. Uh, I think we did I mention uh, this. That is it. Arrived. So what's the answer? They arrived in, on, or at? At a time. They arrived at time no. for the morning. On. They arrived on time. On time. Three mm. more. My mother always arrived. So what's the answer, guys? Um, on. My mother always. On. We have two more. I was born. I was born. Wow, you're very fast now. I was born. Perdón. In. To in. My, in. Actually, on, right? Remember dates? Guarden con fechas. On. Right? La fecha on. En el número, um, por decir, el see, mes, May. No? Es más completa. I, yeah. I think it's 2012. I was born in May the 2nd. Uh, I don't know if I made a mistake. I think so. Or probably they see 60 years old in on at. In. in. Uh, wow, I didn't know. <laughs> okay, so we got six answers. In, right? In. in six perfect so that that one was okay okay so we're going to stop in here Cesar you got the third place Eduardo second place and let's see who's the winner Sonia good congratulations <laughs> Thank you. Jessica, you got the fourth place and I don't know it was a brain that you got the the fifth place okay nice Okay, so we'll probably play later on, but now we have to discuss a um, new topic for this class. We just all done, and I'm going to share. So let me check this one. Okay, game. So, so. <laughs> hey, what happened? I was waiting for you guys. Estaba esperando a los demás, me han perdido. Let's see. Uh, we have uh, some vocabulary for this class. Um, we're talking about there is, there are, to show existence. And we have here some vocabulary. Store, ATM, that's an automatic tailor machine. Building, recruitment, center, what else? Training center and amusement park. Okay, so listen. Store, ATM, building, Recruitment center, training center, and amusement park. Let's see, could you repeat that again, please, Wilfredo? Store, ATM. 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 Building. Recruitment center. Building. Training. Training center. center. Amusement park. Okay, so again, store, 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 ATM. Or automatic tailor machine. Automatic tailor machine. Automatic tailor machine. Machine. Automatic tailor machine. Automatic tailor machine. Automatic tailor machine. That's the ATM. Building. 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 So what's the word for building in Spanish? No, sabemos. So we don't know. <laughs> No, it's a building. Somebody. Edificio. Edificios, right? Edificios. Okay, recruitment center. Recruitment center. Recruitment. Recruitment center. Recruitment center. Recruitment center. Recruitment. 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 Recruit
reclutamiento. How about this one? Training center. Training, training center. Un uh -huh. centro de entrenamiento. Podría ser un lugar donde se dan capacitaciones también. Uh, amusement park. So do you know about an amusement park? Amusement park. Amusement. Amusement park. Amusement park. Uh -huh. Amusement park. For example, Disney. There, uh, let's see. Well, I don't know about another. Un parque de diversiones, algo así. Parque de diversiones, uh -huh. And there are some others, but I, I don't know the names. Amusement <laughs> park. So we have here in El Salvador, let's say, Sitco Amusement Park. <laughs> let's see. Mm. So let's Sitco. go. <laughs> Okay, so do you know the question? So let's start with some questions. Guys, do you know some stores in your city? Do you know some stores? So can you mention some of them? Stores, shops. And Simon. Mm -hmm. Simon, what else? So Cesar. Uh -huh. Yeah, got it. Curacao, Curacao. Curacao. Okay, what I I don't know how to do it. Dollar City, what else? Nerds. Uh huh. Victoria Secret. Forever 21. Forever 21. Forever 21. Okay. I. Let's see, do you use an ATM, guys? Do you use an ATM? Yes. 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 Every month. Yesterday I used it. <laughs> so what are, some, <laughs> what are some common buildings around your workplace? So can you mention some common buildings around your workplace? So what can I find around your workplace? So what are some common buildings? Electrolab Medic. Electrolab Medic. Ah, okay, so that's in Colonia Centro America. Yes. Mm -hmm. What else? Electrolab Medic. Academies. El Cristóbal Colón. Cristóbal Colón. Universities, you have academies, um, universities, malls. Store shops. Ajá. La Torre Cuscatlán. Yo lo veo como recursos humanos de Unicomer. Recursos humanos de Unicomer. Mm. Millennium Plaza. Millennium Plaza. So we're thinking about talking about the buildings. ¿Qué hay alrededor? So what, ¿cuáles son los que están alrededor de su lugar donde se trabaja? Uh, yes, Wilfredo. Wendy's. Wendy's, ajá. Uh, bank of the los trabajadores el banco de los trabajadores ok Pede crédito Pede crédito uh, Eduardo the city hall the city hall yes ok so guys do you know an amusement park in El Salvador or around let's see or in another country I knew Fantasialand. Uh, Karen, will you repeat it, please? I knew Fantasialand in Germany. Oh, wow. Have you visited? Yes. Wow. Perfect. It's great. The sake is with you. <laughs> okay. And you, Wilfredo, do you know an amusement park? Park. Yes, I was. I was two weeks before. Behind. Hace dos semanas. Okay. So where do you go? Where do you go? So what's the name of that amusement park? Where is it located? It's in Puerto Libertad. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Puerto Libertad. Um, Karen? Uh, 
Hi, teacher. I thought you had a, a response. No. No. Okay, so I don't know. I hear somebody. Gabriela? Portezuelos. Um, Portezuelos. Es ataco. No soy segura, pero en ataco. I'm not sure. I'm not, not sure. Thank you, Karen. So I think that you well, Karen likes to visit a lot of places. So if you, no, have I'm a a <laughs> if you need more information, <laughs> contact Karen, please. <laughs> no, teacher, I'm a middle of me is a Huachapaneca. Ah, okay. My father is a Huachapaneco. Oh, well. oh, oh, <laughs> okay. Well, that's why. But she knows a lot of places, right? Am I right or wrong? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. Um, we're going to talk about some, well, two things today countable and countable nouns, and there is and there are, and how to use them with the correct. Um, expression, so look or phrase. Look at this countable. Let's see, Wilfredo, can you read countable? Countable nouns. Think you can, think you can count singular or plural. One apple, two apple, three apple. Okay, and countable, please, Caesar. Okay, think, think you can count. They can't be plural. Buller, meet, come now, can be countable or incountable. But the mating is different. A simple chocolate. Mm -hmm. Chocolate. So look at this. We're aiming at studying some of the nouns and identifying a countable and, uncount and an uncountable noun. So countable things. So all everything that you can count can be countable. It has two forms, singular or plural. So for example, one apple, two apples, right? So it has a singular form and a plural form. Three apples, right? Uncountable things, for example, we have butter and meat. So what could be another noun that is uncountable? ¿Cuál podría ser otro sustantivo que es incontable? So we have butter, la mantequilla, la margarina, meat, carne. Water, um, all. Water. Okay, water. Water, all. Oil, okay. Uh, Oil. Sugar. Uh -huh. Sugar. Air. Sugar, nice. Um, rice. Rice, good. Chocolate. Chocolate and... Uh -huh. Chocolate, yes, because I, I can eat comfortable. One chocolate, two chocolate. Hello. Aha, uh -huh. we're talking in the sense of the drink, the drink or the um, chocolate. But if you want to count the chocolate, you will say a cup of chocolate, uh, for example, a cup of chocolate or a bar of chocolate. Entonces, cuando tenemos eh, el caso que menciona Wilfredo, ahí tenemos el caso del chocolate. El sustantivo es lo que nos referimos en general, a la bebida. Puede ser una, un chocolate comestible. La cuestión es que nos referimos de manera general y si nosotros queremos hacerlo contable, el, un chocolate, dos chocolates. Pero lo que hacemos es utilizar partitivos. Por ejemplo, yo di, utilizo un partitivo que me diga una taza de chocolate, a cup of uh, chocolate, o el mismo caso con el café, ¿verdad? A cup of uh, coffee. Sí. Aquí está la alarma. Cup of... De la alarma. Te vas a cepillar. Cup of chocolate. Aquí está la alarma. Feliz noche. Chocolate, a bar of chocolate. Okay, so I'm going to provide you with a list so where you can identify what words are um, countable and 
what other words are uncountable. For example, the word food is uncountable. Uncountable. So let me send you a list. Okay. So let's try to identify them as countable and uncountable. So let me see. So are these countable or uncountable? Chocolate. So we already started. Uncountable. 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 Yeah. How about apple? Uncountable. Mm -hmm. Countable. Cheese. Uncountable. Mm -hmm. Uncountable. Nice. Car. Uncountable. Uncountable. How about sugar? Incountable. Incountable. Okay. Sugar, uncountable. How about television? Countable. Countable. Okay. Oil. Oil? Incountable. Uncountable. Okay. Butter? Incountable. Uncountable, uncountable, umbrella. Uncountable. 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 Uncountable, right? Countable. Money, can I count the money? Countable. Uncountable. So what do you think? Countable. Uncountable. Countable. Countable. Countable or uncountable? Countable. Uncountable. Uncountable, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So that's uncountable. The word money is uncountable. Incountable. Mm -hmm. So what you can count in this case is, uh, for example, the dollars, um, uh -huh. the coins. Entonces aquí lo que podemos contar son los dólares, las monedas. So, but you can not count the word money. Mm -hmm. There is money. Hay dinero. <laughs> countable. Okay. Water, countable or uncountable? Un, incountable. Uncountable. Uncountable. Friend? Countable. Countable. Book? Countable. Countable. Okay. How about shoe? And we have a chicken. Countable. Shoe. Countable. Countable. Mm -hmm. about chicken? Countable. Countable. Okay, countable. About time. Uncountable. Oh. Uncountable. Mm -hmm. Time. Or uncountable. Uncountable. Uncountable, right? Uncountable. Uncountable. Mm -hmm. If I'm talking about meat in general, so the word will be uncountable. Si estoy hablando de carne en general, podría ser este incontable. Meat. Okay. meat. Por libra. Ahí ya sería otra cosa. Uh, pound of uh, meat. Ahí ya le vamos poniendo el partitivo que es, la, es el A, ah, el, el artículo definido. A pound of meat. Una libra de pollo, de carne. A cup. Countable. Countable. Ok. Jam. Countable. Ok. So we don't have a word for this one. Yes. Jam, you sure? One jam, two jam. So what is it? Countable. So what do you think for the word jam? So what's what's the word for jam in Spanish? Mm -hmm. Well, this one is uncountable. 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 Mm -hmm. Uncountable. Ah, mermelada. Okay. Um, well, that's the other one with H, ham, ham and jam. Let's see. Okay. okay, so let's continue. Look at this. Um, well, with that information, what, what I can do is try to send you a list of countable and uncountable nouns. In with some part, let's see. 
So now we continue with there is and there are. Got it. Will you repeat the information? Okay. There is and there are. We use there is or there are to give new information about something that exists or something that is present. Okay. Number one. Go ahead. In my bedroom, there is a television. Number two, in the living room, there are three armchairs. Number three, there are four pictures in the dining room. Four in the garden, there are some flowers. Five, there is a car in the garage. And six, in my house, there are two telephones. Okay, perfect. So let's uh, repeat it again. So let's try to explain it a little bit more. So that is and that are, are used in order to show existence, right? I in Spanish, right? So you already know something that is present. In my bedroom, there is a television, there is a computer, there is a cupboard, there is a bed. So what else can I find in your bedroom? So who can tell me what can I find in your bedroom? Let's see who, who can describe that. In my bedroom, there is what? There is a PlayStation. Okay, there is a PlayStation. What else? A table. A there ta is a table. There is a table. Sonia, what can you tell me? What can I find in your bedroom? Uh, there is um what is a cup? A bed. The bed. Okay, a bed. There is. There is a bed. There is a bed. And there Gabriel? A bed. In my bedroom, there is a bed, a table, and a computer. Okay, great. How about the living room? So, what's the word for living room in Spanish? Um, sala. La sala. Okay, so what can I find in your living room, guys? Luis? In my living room, there are this. Uh -huh. There are three armchairs. What else can I find in your living room, Luis? Perdón, no, no le entendí eso último. Ah, what else can I find in your living room? So mention some objects, mention some things. Uh, three so far, uh, what to be? Uh -huh. oh, okay. And that's it. <laughs> okay, let's see, um, Caesar, um, can you mention what can I find in your dining room? Living room. Dining room. Um, um, in my dining room, uh -huh, there are, for example, some people. Um, so what um, is a dining yeah. room? Do you remember what's a dining room? Um, board, uh, Do you remember, uh, guys, what's a dining room? Aha, uh -huh, okay. So what's a dining room? On the table, yeah. um, El comedor, right? El yes. Comedor. A table, okay. Um, and the, there are? Cocina. A kitchen, okay. A kitchen. Stop. Um, Stop. Um, horno. Mm -hmm. And my car. Wait. Um, it was a uh, one archment. Archment. An archer. Yes. In the dining room. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, how about the garden? What can I find in your garden? Let's see, um, Janet, in your garden. So, what do you have? Um. Es que casi no la entendí bien. Here, four. 
in el jardín. What can I find in your garden? In my garden, there are some plants, there are roses, there are tulips, there are, let's see, I don't know, what else? Pots. In, in the garden? In the, in the garden, there are some um, flowers, I don't know. So uh, what do you have in the garden? Toys. Una que se llama tuya, me dicen. <laughs> there are some flowers. Flowers, okay. Rosas. Cosas, stuff. Rosas. Okay, roses. Rose. Uh, rose. Rose. Okay, nice. So, and what um, do you have in the garage, guys? Thank you, Jeanette. So, what do you have in the garage? A car. Nothing. A bicycle. A bus. Okay, nice. So, you got the idea how to use their is and then are. So, let's continue with some more um, examples. And he, in here, I'm going to show you how to use um, there is and there are plus quantifiers. Podemos utilizar la expresión there is y there are más cuantificadores para determinar el grado en, o la cantidad de algo. For example, we're going to study a and some and any and a lot of. So look at this. Okay, so do you remember that when we talked about a, we were talking about singular things, singular countable nouns, A or N, right? So they represent something that is singular. There is how many bottles of water on the table? How many? One, only one. one only one. Okay, there is an apple on the table. How many apples? One apple. One, one. apple, right? So that's A and N plus singular countable nouns. There is a bottle. So this is the, um, okay, so this is the noun, a bottle and an apple, singular, right? Let's see, um, let's continue with the next one. Let me modify the color. Okay, about, we also have some and any plus plural countable nouns or an uncountable nouns. So we have uh, some, we're going to use some in affirmative sentences, there is some cheese in the fridge. And you can use, um, you can use some either with a plural countable or with an uncountable noun. So there is some cheese in the fridge. So look at this, so you use it with, Uncount this is an uncountable noun, but you can also use it with a countable noun. For example, there are some, there are some chairs. So the word chair or the noun chair is countable, right? And the word cheese is uncountable. So it means that both of them, the some can be used with both of them with countable and uncountable nouns. Let's see, the next one, we have the negative, any. So when do I use uh, any? With negative sentences or questions. Okay. So I'm having some trouble with that. So look at this, so I'm going to use this. Okay, some, what's the meaning for some in Spanish? Algo o algunos o algo. So that's the meaning in Spanish. Hay algo de, de qué cosa? De queso en el refrigerador. Uh -huh. en, el, en la refrigeradora, en el pepe. Okay, so how about the other example that I wrote? There are some chairs in the living room. There are some chairs in the living room. Okay, 
Okay, so there are some chairs. So what's the translation for that in Spanish? Hay. Algunas sillas. Algunas sillas. So, but, but what I want you to notice is the difference. Hay algo de queso. Hay algunas sillas, right? Sillas. Okay, so when we talk about an uncountable noun, so the meaning or the word will probably change. Entonces acá cambia un poquito la palabra algo de verdad. I'm not saying algunas, algún, alguna queso, no, so that's not correct. Let's see, uh, how about the negative? Do you have any? There isn't any cheese in the fridge. So look at this. In this case, we're translating this as No hay nada de. Uh, there isn't any. Mm -hmm. No hay nada de queso en la refrigeradora. So in the first case, we're talking about an, an affirmative sentence, right? Y afirmativo, acá negativo. Y acá estoy diciendo que no hay nada. De, so absolutamente nada. Probably you have the hope that you would find something, but there is There isn't anything. No hay nada de. There isn't any cheese in the fridge. So let's continue with the question. Or remember that you can also use it with countable nouns. También lo podemos utilizar con sustantivos contables. And you can also say there aren't Apples, or there aren't any apples. Okay, en la primera, no hay manzanas, y en la segunda, no hay queso. Nada de qué cosa? Queso. Manzanas. So this one. Mm -hmm. No hay nada de manzana. So it means zero quantity, right? So another. Um, Quantifier that you can use is no. También podemos utilizar el quantifier no para decir que existe cero cantidad. Um, let me show you the questions. And with the questions, you have you can also use any. Is there any cheese in the fridge? Hay algo de queso en el refrigerador? Is there any bottle of water in the fridge? Is there any person who can help me? Hay alguna persona que me puede ayudar? Is there any, let's say, is there any money in your pocket? Is there any milk in the bottom? Okay. So with the questions, what you do is that you invert the um, order. Is there any money? ¿Hay algo de dinero? Is there any food? Is there any fruit? Hay alguna fruta? Ha sobrado algo de leche? Is there any milk left? O han dejado algo de leche? Okay, so I'm going to show you some more examples. So you can uh, have a look at these um, quantifiers with the expression that is and that are. And let's continue with a lot of. So let's see, uh, Wilfredo, can you read a lot of, please? I don't know because I have a problem with the office now. I don't need to. Uh, chicos, ¿se escucha? No. No. Portado. Yes. I think that yo pensé que era solo yo. Por eso no dije. Vamos a ver si cerramos alguna ventana por acá. Puede ser, no sé por qué. Que mi computadora todavía está en reparación. Y esto como que es un poco más lento para cargar. <ríe> bueno, se va a volver. Vamos a ver, déjenme cerrar algunas ventanas, tal vez eso ayude.
pero ahora ella sí me escucha, tipo, solo fue un momento como que se fue el audio. Sí, estoy tratando de cerrar algunas ventanas, puede ser eso. Vamos a cerrar esto. Sí, a pensar. Sí, sí. Okay, how about now? Do you listen to me? Yes. Is it clear now? Better, so so. Se escucha mejor. O sea, bueno, es que solo fue un momento y se le fue el audio. Okay, so let's explain again. So I'm going to show you another worship. Okay, so don't worry. A lot of, um, so we use a lot of with all types of nouns. It means a large number or amount. O sea, a lot of lo utilizamos con todos los tipos de sustantivos, ya sea eh, contable o incontable. Y nos quiere decir que hablamos de una cantidad, una cifra larga o una cantidad extensa. We have a lot of time. Tenemos muchísimo tiempo, demasiado tiempo. There are a lot of eggs in the fridge. Hay muchos, muchísimos, right? There are a lot of eggs in the fridge. And there is a lot of money in the purse. I have a lot of books. So what's uh, some other quantifiers that you will find are probably much, maybe, uh, no, any, um, some, we have mentioned some, a lot of. So these are some common uh, quantifiers. So if you want to determine the quantity, you can use these quantifiers. Remember, this much would be with substantives. Incontable, right? Uncountable nouns, countable nouns. No, um, there is no money, there is no... Okay. So I would say that this is countable and uncountable. Countable, there is no money, there is no sugar, there is no any book, countable, uncountable. Any, again, the same, countable or uncountable. Some, the same, countable or uncountable, a lot of countable or uncountable. And we also have A and N for a only countable nouns, right? Okay. So try to take some notes. Okay, uh, let me know if you uh, if you have taken some notes so I can continue. May I? Hey. Yes, Wilfred. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to share a document. So we're going to uh, have a look at these um, usages one by one. Okay, todos están viendo ahí el documento, el chart? Yes. Okay, so let's see. Let's go one by one. How do we make statements and questions with there is and there are? Study the gram. We're going to study that grammar reference charts, reference chart, and look at this. So we were talking about this. We use there is and there are to say that something exists, right? Hablamos para hablar de lo utilizamos para hablar de existencia, algo que hay. Singular there is. Example there is a tree in the yard. Hay un árbol en patio, right? Uh, plural there are. There are two cats on the chair. Hay dos gatos sobre la silla. Contraction. So what's the contraction for this one? There is a tree. There's a tree. There's, there's, hmm. there's a tree. There's, there's a tree. There's a tree. There's a tree. And look at the look at this information that we have on your let's see your right side. You cannot contract there are. No podemos hacer una contracción con there are, entonces lo leemos así, tal cual, ¿verdad? there are, there are. And don't confuse this with they. No lo confundamos ahí con el, el subject pronoun they, ¿verdad? This is there, there are, there are. Uh, negative, there is not a tree in the yard. No hay un árbol en el patio. And there are not two cats on the chair. No hay dos 
gatos en la, sobre la silla. So what you do in the negative form is that after there is or there are, you add not. Entonces lo que hacemos acá es agregarle nada más el not para formar la negación. There is not, there are not. Y luego agregamos el sustantivo de acuerdo a lo que estamos mencionando acá. ¿verdad? Singular. ¿Cuántos árboles? Uno, miren. Ahí está el quantifier. Un árbol. There are not two cats. Los números también son cuantificadores porque nos determinan hay una cantidad. Dos. Entonces también los podemos considerar quantifiers. There are not two cats on the chair. So let's continue with the negative contraction. So in this a case, negative contraction, we have there is not a tree in the yard and there isn't a tree in the yard. So for the negative singular form, so what you do is that you contract this part at the beginning, there's the same uh, as in here. Look at this, there's a tree, there's not. Entonces acá lo mismo que hacemos es contraer la forma negativa pero contraemos aquí nada más. There's not. Y aquí queda esa. Aquí. O también podríamos hacerla así. There isn't. There isn't. Acá lo que no podíamos contraer era la forma plural afirmativa. Cambio con la negativa. Veamos. There aren't. There aren't two cats on the chair. So you have affirmative and negative as in verb to be. So how about the questions? So can you read the questions, please? Let's see, Sonia. Question, is there a tree here? Are there two on the chair? Okay, perfect. So why you, what do you do in here? So we invert the order and we start with word to be and then you are there, right? Is there a tree in the yard? Entonces lo que hacemos para las preguntas es nada más invertir el orden como lo hacíamos con el verbo to be. Invertir, eh, ponemos el word to be at the beginning and then you place there. Is there a tree in the yard? Are there, are there two cats on the chair? ¿Hay dos gatos en la silla? ¿Sobre la silla? ¿Hay un árbol en el patio? Questions so far about these questions? No, no. no? Janet, Sonia, Virginia? No. Bueno, sí, si lo pudieras repetir otra vez, por favor. Okay, so let's check it again. Okay, uh, remember that we use there is and there are to talk about existence. Lo utilizamos para hablar de existencia, de algo que hay, ¿verdad? Yo quiero decir, hay tantas cosas sobre la mesa. Hay, uh -huh. en, digamos, tantos edificios donde trabajo. Hay cinco oficinas. Uh -huh. Entonces yo lo, hablo para, lo utilizo para hablar de existencia. Mm, the singular form is there is. The plural form there are. And um, there is, um, y también les mencionamos al inicio que los sustantivos incontables, bueno, esto creo que no se los mencioné, pero los sustantivos incontables los utilizamos exclusivamente con la forma singular. Por ejemplo, there is um, money. There is money. Entonces, cuando son sustantivos incontables, solamente lo uti eh, utiliza there is. There is money, there is a no time, for example. No hay tiempo. There is food. So in that sense, uh, when we talk about uncountable nouns, we you use the expression there is. With the plural form, remember that you have to add a countable noun, right? Entonces aquí con la forma plural, recuerden que Acá tienen que agregar un sustantivo plural. Acá un sustantivo. Eh, uh -huh. Y en este caso sería un sustantivo contable o incontable. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, estos que están acá. Porque los incontables, los sustantivos incontables, van, van utilizándose con there is. There is money, there is no time. Food. En cambio, en. Eh, este también 
pueden utilizar como un sustantivo con tal, ¿verdad? La forma singular. There is book. ¿Cuántos libros? Uno. There is a toy on my desk. Entonces aquí puede ser un sustantivo contable, contable como book o incontable como time. There is time. There is no time, there is time. Y acá no, ¿verdad? Acá son sustantivos contables. There are two cats. There are some cats. There are, let's say, a lot of cats. Entonces ahí puede usar, usted insertar el, el quantifier entre, ¿verdad? El de, eh, en medio. There are a lot of cats. There are some cats. There are four cats. Ok. So now the contraction for there is, that's there is. Y la contracción nuevamente, there's, 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 there's a tree, yes. there's a book, there's a pencil, yes. there's a computer, there's a laptop, there's an office, there's, let's say, there's a cell phone. And we don't have a contraction for the affirmative form in the plural form. Y acá no tenemos contracción en la forma afirmativa, pero forma plural, ¿verdad? Acá sí. Negative, so with the negative, we have there is not. So what we do here is that we add not after there is, o there are, o there are. Entonces lo que hacemos acá es agregarle el not para hacer la negación después de la frase, there is, o there are, para tener nuestra versión negativa. ¿Qué ubicamos después? Usted puede ubicar un quantifier o no puede hacerlo. Pero si usted quiere indicar la cantidad, utiliza el quantifier. There is not a tree. Aunque solamente con los sustantivos singulares siempre pues, se, le pone, se, le, se le antepone eh, el artículo. ¿verdad? There is not a tree. Because it, it's not uh, really... Um, well, we don't say there is no tree. No decimos no hay árbol. So there is not a tree. So we add that uh, article. Entonces ahí vamos a ocupar ese artículo. Uh, there are not two cats. Acá, recuerde que usted puede nuevamente incluir un quantifier. There are not two cats on the chair. There are not um, any. También podríamos utilizar any. Recuerde que any lo utilizamos con oraciones negativas. There are not any cats on the chair. There are not cats. O también podemos utilizar un número. So with the negative, with the negative contraction, we have there is not, there is not, lo mismo que arriba, solo que ahora not. O también podemos utilizar isn't, there isn't. There isn't. Mm -hmm. There is not a tree in the yard. There isn't a tree in the yard. With the negative, we have the plural form. There are in two cats on the chair. So basically is this, there's not, there isn't. Ahí se puede utilizar cualquiera de las dos. So there's not or there isn't. In this one, there aren't, right? There aren't two cats on the chair. So with the questions, con las preguntas, ¿cómo hacemos las preguntas? So with the questions, you invert the order. Con las preguntas, lo que hacemos nada más es invertir el orden. Vamos a ubicar el to be acá al inicio y ese A. Uh, bueno, is y are, ¿verdad? Is there a tree in the yard? And are there two cats on the chair? Y de ahí lo demás, pues, se mantiene igual. Entonces, lo único que invertimos es acá, ¿verdad? El to be. Y acá, agregarle el not. O sea, acá o acá. Okay, so now, about the usage of any. Respecto al uso de any. Uh, look at this. Use any in questions with son uncountable nouns. Entonces, acá, vamos uno por uno. Utilizamos any en preguntas con sustantivos incontables. Example, is there any water in the cup? Hay algo de agua en la taza? Is there any water in the cup? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. So notice the short answers. Las respuestas cortas. Um, yes, there is. No, there isn't. Entonces, siempre tiene su forma, forma de contestar. 
Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Esta sería la respuesta corta para la pregunta, is there? Vamos ahora, use any in questions with plural nouns. Y acá tenemos también que podemos utilizar any en preguntas con sustantivos plurales. Are there any cats? Hay. ¿Algunos gatos? Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Sí o no, ¿verdad? So let's continue with the next one. Use any in negative sentences. There isn't any water in the cup. También lo utilizamos con oraciones negativas. No hay nada de agua en la taza. So there isn't any water in the cup. Use any in negative sentences. There aren't any cats. Y no hay. Well, I would say nada de gato. No hay gatos. Entonces, lo que hacemos acá con este any es indicar, ¿verdad? Indicar el grado de la cantidad. La cantidad. Ok. And we also have a how many. También utilizamos mucho esta pregunta. How many trees are there in the yard? ¿Cuántos árboles hay en el patio? How many cats are there on the chair? ¿Cuántos gatos hay sobre la silla? También podríamos ampliar la pregunta How much con un sustantivo incontable. How much water is there? Miren, siempre se mantiene ahí la estructura de pregunta, como la veíamos en, la, en las yes, no questions, utilizando the race and the How much water is there? ¿Cuánta agua hay ahí? How much milk is there? In the bottle. ¿Cuánta leche hay ahí en la botella? In the glass. Ahí en el vaso. How much water is there in the glass? Ok. Question so far. Preguntas, chicos. No. No questions? Oh, ok. Nice. No questions. So I think you're ready to have a breakfast. I hope so. Okay, so listen, we're going to uh, look at the following exercise. And I want you to help me fill in the blanks below to complete these sentences. Example number one, there is a library next to the park. Example two, can you read example two, please? Uh, let's see, Gabriela. All the students went, went home. There aren't any students in the classroom. Okay. Y todos los estudiantes se fueron a casa. No hay? Estudiantes en el salón de clases. No hay ningún, no hay nada, de, no hay ningún estudiante en el salón de clases. Pero no hay nada de eso. Well, I would say no hay estudiantes, right? Uh, number three. So what do you think, guys? Number three. There are. Okay, there are. Six stay in the United States. Okay, perfect. How about number four, guys? Number four. How many days? They are. Uh, no. So what do you think about number four? No, polar bears at the South Pole. There are there aren't any polar bears at the South Pole. Mm -hmm. There aren't. Okay, there aren't any. Okay, how about the next one, number five? It's a question. It's a question. Look at the question mark. Is, is there a question for me? Excellent, Wilfredo. Is there? No. No, there aren't. Mm -hmm. Singular, right? No, there isn't. How about question six? 
So this is a challenge, number six, why? So just remember the structure for the questions. Why? Why? There is. There, where are? They are. Why are there? Yeah. Why? Are there? Why are there many cars? Mm -hmm. Por qué hay tantos carros en el parqueo? Uh, seven. Hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Excellent. There is a restaurant across the street. How many days? Are there in March? Excellent. How many days are there? Cuánto día? I in March. Nine. There is a few things. Okay, a few things. Algunas cosas there is or there are. There are. There are. Ajá, so you have to look at the noun. También tenemos que tomar en cuenta y el sustantivo para ver si compagina. There are a few things I have to do this afternoon. 10. So what do you think about number 10? Question. Is there a post office nearby? Mm -hmm. Nearby? Okay. Oh, nearby. Nearby. Uh -huh. ¿Hay alguna oficina postal, correo, cerca? I'm sorry, I don't know. 11. Is the how do you say? ¿Cómo puedo? Hay algo en lo que yo pueda ayudarle o con lo que yo pueda ayudarle. Is there? Is there right? Hay algo. Is there something I can help you with? Hay algo con lo que yo pueda ayudarte? No. But. There aren't any. Mm -hmm. Public holidays. There aren't any public holidays next month. Holidays. 13. How many countries are there in the world? Perfect. How many countries are there in the world? ¿Cuántos países, oh, mm -hmm. ¿Cuántos países hay en el mundo? 14. There is. Mm -hmm. There is there is a woman in the picture. She's nine, right? Fifteen guys. 15. There are only three more days before the exam. Yes. There are only three more days before the exam. So look at this. Um, there is and there are. They have. They must have a parallelism with the noun, right? Debe haber un paralelismo ahí, una igualdad entre eh, la frase there is o there are con el sustantivo, ¿verdad? There is a woman. ¿Cuántas mujeres? Una, right? Aquí nos está indicando el quantifier también. ¿Cuántas? Una. Um, Aquí también. Post office. Una. Restaurantes, there is a restaurant. One, right? Is there a post office? Hay alguna oficina? 
only one, right? So take a screenshot if you want to use that or, or take some notes. ¿Ya le tomaron captura? Yes. No. Ya lo copiaron. O ya lo copiaron. Porque si no quedan ahí olvidadas en el teléfono. En la, no lo vamos a abrir. You must take some notes. A veces es bueno tomar apuntes, si no se nos olvida. Me digo porque me ha pasado, pero no, no creo que ustedes no tomen apuntes. Ok. May I continue? Yes, may I? Okay, so let's continue. So now let's look at the picture. So look at the picture and decide if each statement is true or false. So look, look at the picture. I'm going to give you five seconds. Okay. So you have to tell me if that is if that is true or false. There are seven people in the picture, true or false? False. False, right? Six, six people. Okay, there are? There are six people. Okay, number two, there is a cat on a chair. True. 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 Okay. So is that a chair or an, or an armchair? In the armchair. So is it true or false? No. Okay. Number three. There is a woman standing behind a sofa. There is a woman standing behind a sofa. It's true. It's true, okay. Number four, there aren't any cups on the table. True or false? There aren't any cups on the table. Yeah. It's false. It's false. It's one cup. Uh -huh. There is it's a cup. Cold. There is, there cup. is a cup. Continue. I will read number five. There are some books under the coffee table. True or false? Um, it's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's true, right? About number six, okay? There is a small chair in front of the coffee table. True or false? What do you think? True. True. Okay. Sonia? Seven? A mí no me no lo escucho bien. O oh, se traba la pantalla. Cógelo. No sé. Permítame, pero es que no sé de dónde proviene. Escucho un sonidito, no sé si soy yo. Hay interferencia. No proviene del de Sony. Quizás es el, el audífono, Sonia. No sé si está usando bien. Creo que podría ser eso. Ok, how about number seven? There aren't any children in the living room. True or false? False. There is a one. There is a child, right? There is a child. Child. Um, eight. There are some flowers in front of a man. So, what do you think? There are some flowers in front of a man. Uh, it's true. True, false. It's true. True, in front of a man. It's false, it's behind. False. The oh. flowers are behind, right? And how about uh, nine? There is a fan in the picture. 
Caesar? There is a fan in the picture. Oh, yes. Yes, right? So what is a fan? Um, this one, right? So this is the fan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, fun. So this is the fun. Este es el, el ventilador. Oh, sorry. Okay, don't worry. And let's see, there is a small dog next to a chair. True or false? Can you repeat the question, please? Aha, uh -huh, the sentence says, there is a small dog next to a chair. There is a small dog next to a chair. False, they are lying, right? Okay, false. As a dog. It's false. It's false, right? That's false. Okay, so we're going to continue with that class. So just give me a second. Okay, so look at this. Here we have a short conversation and I want you to practice with your classmates. Um, so use, uh, there is and there are plus the quantifiers and we have Allison and Marcos. Is there any store near your workplace? Yes, there are some stores. Is there any bank near your company? No, there isn't any bank. Are there restaurants near your company building? Yes, there are a lot of restaurants. Are there drug stores near your workplace? No, there aren't drug stores near my workplace. So what we're doing right now is practicing this conversation, but first you practice the conversation with your classmate and later on you have to um, recreate that conversation using information about your companies, okay? About your workplace. So let's practice. Is there any store near your workplace? Workplace, right? Workplace. Is there any store near your workplace? Near. ¿Hay alguna tienda cerca de tu uh, trabajo? Yes, there are some stores. Is there any bank near your company? ¿Hay algún banco cerca de tu de la empresa? No, there isn't any bank. Are there restaurants near your company building? ¿Hay restaurantes cerca del edificio de la empresa? Yes, there are a lot of restaurants. Are there drug stores near your workplace? Hay farmacias cerca de tu trabajo? No, there are drugstores near my workplace. So let's see, Wilfredo, please. And let's see, is Omar here? So can you check? What? Omar? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice. Wilfredo and Omar, please um, role play the conversation. Wilfredo, okay. start. Okay, is there any. Any? Your workplace? Any. Any. Yes, there are some stores. Continue, Wilfredo. Okay. Is there any bank in the company? No, there isn't any bank. Are there restaurants near your company building? Yes, there are a lot of Restaurant. Are the drug uh, are the drug store near your workplace? No, there aren't drug stores near my workplace. Okay, thank you guys. Any, any, is there any any store, bank, okay, building, building, restaurant, restaurants, restaurants, drug stores, drug stores. Uh -huh. Drug stores and uh, the word company, right? Company. Stores. Company. Let's see, company. Gabriela and uh, let's see, Karen, please. Okay. Is there any store near your workplace? Yes, there are some stores. Is there any bank near your, work, your company? No. There isn't any bank. Are there restaurants near your company building? Yes, they are a lot of restaurants. 
Are the drugstore near? Are the drugstore near your workplace? No, there aren't drugstore near my workplace. Okay, thank you, guys. So for this word, store, store. Okay, is there any store? Store. 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 Uh -huh. Store. 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 Uh -huh. So don't pronounce store. Eh. Store. Okay. Store. Store. Start with S, right? Store. Is store. there any store near your workplace? Yes, there are some stores. Is there store. any bank near your company? No, there isn't bank. any bank. Are there restaurants near your company building? Yes, there are a lot of restaurants. A lot of restaurants. Are there mm -hmm. drug stores near your workplace? No, there aren't drug stores near my workplace. Okay, so the instruction is practice the conversation at least two times and then you create your own conversation. Y la vamos a practicar dos veces y después recrean la conversación utilizando diferentes lugares. Por ejemplo, pueden mencionar los buildings que hay alrededor del, del lugar donde ustedes trabajan. Pueden hablar de los ATM, amusement parks. So you can talk about the city halls, post office, hospital, a bar, a police station. Here you have some um, places. Or you can also mention some shops. Okay. A hotel, a bank, a police station, a school, a bus station. So you can mention um, some of these places or some other. So you can customize that. Se puede personalizarla ahí. Okay, so I'm going to create a break of rooms, a take a screenshot, tomale una captura de pantalla, and remember, practice the conversation and then create your own. Y después vamos a compartir la que han creado. Okay. Okay, so join the break of rooms, please. Me avisan si hay alguien que se quedó sin la invitación para enviársela nuevamente. Wilfredo, ¿no le apareció? No. no. Si no, lo vuelvo a enviar. Ok. Debería. El lado. Por eso le decía yo que ahí. Sí, que te está preguntando si sí o no. Sí, ah, pues ahí le responde. Yes, they are some store. Ahí le va a decir usted. Yes. Sí. Ah, pues sí. Ahí le pone el nombre de la nevería. Ajá. 
No sé dónde trabaja usted. Bueno, de ahí abajo dice. Hay un banco cerca de. Y si hay un banco cerca de la compañía. Yes. A la par lo tenemos. Bueno, digámosle entonces. Las dos veces primero así y de ahí la modificamos. Vaya. Ustedes primero, yo escucho. Ahí está. Hola, ustedes dos primero, luego escucho yo. Um, is there any store near your workplace? And just store uh, some stores. Is there any bam near your company? No, there. No. Sí, serían algunas. Teacher. Teacher. Hello, hello. Teacher, una pregunta. Este, ¿Qué es la diferencia entre any and some? Any and some. En e, some significa algunos o algo. O algunas. El some puede ser. El, utilizado con sustantivos contables o incontables en oraciones oh, afirmativas y quiere decir algunos o algunas o um, vamos a ver algo, uh -huh, algo también oh, is there some time hay algo de tiempo eh, any. el n quiere decir por ejemplo um, ¿Hay algún banco cerca? En este caso, en ese caso de esa oración. En, en la de arriba donde está Allison, ¿hay alguna tienda cerca uh -huh. de tu trabajo? En la que está abajo dice, mmm, vaya. En la primera de arriba donde dice Allison, dice, ¿hay alguna uh -huh. tienda cerca de tu trabajo? En la segunda, que sería de Allison otra vez. ¿Hay algún banco cerca de tu trabajo o de la, de la empresa? Y en la donde contesta Marco, no, no hay ningún banco. No hay ningún banco. Vamos a ver, en la siguiente dice, bueno, ya no hay otra. Ya no tenemos otra. Entonces ahí va cambiando el, el contexto. Uh -huh. Con son no hay así. Solo yes, there are some. Ajá. No, hay algunas tiendas. Hay. Okay. Okay. Any, some, any, okay. okay. Entonces, is, is there are any pulserías near your workplace? Yes, there are some areas near nearby. Puede ser nearby. You can also say near my company, near my workplace, or next to the office, next to the cafeteria. I mean, next to the bank. Y puede ir agregándole más información. Agregarlo. Ok. Hello, hello. Come on. Vamos aprendiendo. <risa> ok. Acá me regresé. Eh, a, a oh. la una. Ahorita ya la dijimos. Ya, ya, ya la pronunciamos. Sí, ya la pronunciamos los, todos. Las dos veces. Ahora tenemos que crear la la de nosotros. Sí, traten de personalizar una conversación. Vaya. Mm. Ah, quiero ver. Is there 
any store near your workplace. Okay. Cambiamos. Sí, por favor. Hello. Do you have questions, Mirna and Omar? Preguntas, chicos? Mm, no, no, por el momento no estamos solo replicando las, la oración. Oh, ok. Ok. No, no, no. Aquí nosotros platicando. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Ya, ya termina, <risa> ya se va. Estamos, estamos durmiendo, ¿no? Yeah. Y aparte, hemos visto que la plataforma está clara ahora, porque bien, no sea, como trabada. Ah, el, el Zoom. Ajá. Porque sí, casi no, no, no sé qué es el claro. problema, porque verdad que ayer no estuvimos así. No, igual oh. ahorita no, no, casi no le he entendido mucho a Wilfredo. Ah, pues yo pensé que ese dolor era yo. Wow. No, pero no de, no de Wilfredo. Casi no se lo entiende. No ve que me está diciendo que ahora es el día de él, el día de los santos. ¿Por qué? Hoy es el día, de, hoy es el día del hombre, sí. El día del hombre. Hoy es el día del de niño. Santo. El día del niño. No, ya pasó el día del niño. No, el no, día del niño. Es el día de todos los santos, sí. El día de todos los santos. Ah. Ya es el sueño, ticha, ya no aguanta. Sí, yo creo, yo creo que ya vamos a pasar la sesión. Sí, mejor no es este. Just two minutes, and then you, y le aseguro que cuando termine y se van a ir a dormir. Sí, van a ir mañana. Ya van a dormir mañana. Ok, ya, son, ya regresamos un ratito. Ok. Marco. No, no hay un banco cerca. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Did you finish? No. Todavía no. Es que no, donde nosotros casi no. no hay nada. Casi no hay nada. No hay nada, nada más que solo. Solo que un torno hay ahí cerca. Torre, torre. <risa> ya me trabajo. Solo no hay que vaya ahí a la parte. Ya, Ay, por... eh, eh, ¿Cómo le explico? Ajá, en Avenida de España, ahí del lado de. ¿De alcaldía de San Salvador? Ajá, de, arribita de la alcaldía de San Salvador. De Afri, ahí que no está el parque infantil, no está el Burger King. Yo solo le digo, pero sí, pero se ve que muy lejos no queda. <risa> No le está colaborando el compañero. No. Yo no le dije que el Burger King. Ok, bien, entonces le queda ahí de tarea que termine. Ahora vamos a regresar porque ya es hora, ok. Ok. Ok, Hello. Hi, Luis. <laughs> 